Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to apply Chronos from Phoenix EOD to this 2023 Nissan Kicks. As with any ceramic coating, you want to shake it well. You also want to put protection on your hands. In this case, I'm using black latex gloves. This car set overnight in the garage, so I'm kind of knocking a little dust off of it. So we're going to get right to it. I'm going to apply a liberal amount of the Chronos onto my applicator. For my applicator, I'm using a CarPro applicator with CarPro Micro Suede 10 by 10 centimeter microfiber tile. And this is just for the initial application. After this, I'll apply a more reduced amount to the applicator as I go. But I like to go ahead and prime the microfiber suede tile that I'm using that's holding the ceramic coating. I like to prime it up well, and that way I don't have any drag when I'm going over a surface. So as we go over the surface, it's going on pretty smooth. Um, I may have put just a little too much on the applicator, but it's going on pretty smooth. Nonetheless, I do have excess at the top where I started. So you're going to see me make several passes over this little area that I'm starting off with the application. And I'll be going up to the top and smoothing that out and trying to even everything up. All right, now that the first coating to the panel has been applied, I'm letting it flash, and it flashed relatively fast. The temperature in my garage was probably in between 55 and 60 degrees. It was pretty cool that morning, and I did do this in the morning. So it's probably flashing, taking a little longer to flash than normal, but it flashed pretty fast nonetheless. Now we'll go to wiping. It's wiping off fairly easy also, so that's another plus. You can see as I wipe that the solution is spreading somewhat, so it's kind of pushing out into the middle of the hood. But we're going to keep wiping it down. Now I'm fixing to wipe with my secondary towel. The towels I'm using are also CarPro microfiber suede microfiber towels. They're very effective at wiping, but I do use a two towel method. I do an initial wipe with one, then I come out with a cleaner towel and I do a secondary wipe to pull up any missed solution that I may have missed to begin with. Now we're going further on the panel and we're applying more Chronos. So I'm starting off small. I'm let, making sure that the applicator is primed. And then as I go on the process, I'll do larger panels or I'll do larger areas. And also for the sake of the video, I'm doing smaller areas. When you're applying your coating, always get the small areas like the front of this hood where it has about an inch and a half down slope before it meets the grill. So make sure you get those areas well also. Sometimes they can be neglected if you're coating. So always try to pay special attention to those areas. You want everything coated. You want everything protected. Now we'll let it set for a moment flash, do a quick zoom in. Hopefully the uh, flashing effect is caught on camera when I zoomed in. But this is the area that I applied to. So we'll let it flash for another moment and then we'll start wiping. And now I'm just kind of getting a little excess out of the way and making sure everything's smooth. As we get ready to flash and wipe, all I did with this car is I did the Iron remover, polish, clade it, not in that specific order, but I use the CarPro Essence to polish the vehicle with. It's what I prefer when I'm doing ceramic coatings, and I like it overall in general, even if I'm not doing a ceramic coating. It's a pretty good polish. So what do you guys like to use as a primer for a ceramic coating, as polish-wise, and what methods do you guys do before you apply ceramic coatings to vehicles.
I'm doing my secondary wipe and flipping the towel around. I want to make sure I have a good, clean, fresh edge because I want to pick up any solution that is left over. I don't want to leave any high spots on the hood itself. As I wipe off this section, you may see me wiping over an area that I applied to a few moments ago. Ceramic coating solution, it does wipe up, but it also pushes out as you wipe. So you want to make sure that you don't leave any solution behind. So you do want to wipe over other panels that you've already coated. Now we're moving on to the last section of the hood. I'm applying more chronos to the applicator. As you can see, I didn't apply as much as I did the first go around. So this is a pretty conservative amount now that the applicator is primed. And we're going to prime this last section of the hood. Make sure you apply to all contours. If you look at the area of the hood that's right above the tail light, it's a small area right at an inch, maybe less than an inch. Make sure you get those small areas when you do your car because like I said, you want all areas protected. All right now we'll wipe down this last section of the hood. I didn't mention it before, but make sure you apply the ceramic coating in a crosshatch pattern, which is up and down, then side to side. Doing this helps make sure that there's an even amount of coating applied and the solution is leveled out across the hood instead of ponding up in one area. And like I said regarding the small areas, make sure you coat them, but also make sure you wipe them off because those can be areas that get neglected when you level off the coating. Now we'll come through and do our secondary wipe with our second towel to make sure we have all the solution residue off the hood and make sure the coating is leveled out. Now that I finished the secondary wipe, I'll do a quick visual inspection. Everything looks good to go and we are finished with the hood. Not filmed the application process for the whole vehicle, so now we'll go outside to post application and we'll look at it. And now that we're wrapped up, here are the after shots. Very shiny, very glossy. This is the same day, so the gloss is going to intensify after a few days, and especially after the first wash. And I've also included a few shots of the water behavior. All right, guys, this is it. Kronos from Phoenix EOD. If you will, leave me a like, hit the subscribe button, and as always, thanks for watching, and come back for the next video. Have a good day.